if you want to increase or boost your blog traffic in that case you need to have social medias from where you can drive the traffic but posting on each of them individually is going to take a lot of time in this video you are going to learn how you can automatically post on all social media now this is my website suppose i want to boost traffic for a particular page for that i'm going to use the help of this website called publer if you see their pricing in the free version you can add five social media accounts you can have 50 pending schedule post you can have 25 schedule drafts and you can 24 hours post history there are other things also which are available so you can go through them they do have a daily post limits as you can see over here it is around for facebook page it is around 12 for facebook group it is 10 and so on you can re read through them so i'm going to use the help of this particular website and i'm going to create an account in order to create the account first head over to the website the link is in the description click try the free version you can put your name email id password confirm a password then check i am not a robot and you can agree the terms and condition and sign up but if you are like me then you are going to use the help of any of such medium like facebook twitter linkedin i'm going to select google i'm going to select my gmail account and i'm going to sign up it is easier to do in this manner once you sign up this is the introductory page this is your welcome page now in order to add accounts you have to go through the particular account now let me show you some of the accounts this is my facebook page uh, the mindpedia.com this is my twitter page with respect to my mindpedia.com and this is my instagram page so for this tutorial at first i'm going to add accounts of uh, instagram twitter and facebook right now they do not support tumblr so let me click add now now if your facebook accounts linkedin account and those accounts are already logged in in your browser then it becomes easy or else you have to click on and get them the username password and sign in so let me select pages so it has asked me to provide the password so i'm going to provide the password so once i provide the password it will have access to my facebook account and from there it is going to automatically show me what are the pages which are associated to my account so these are the four pages which are associated to my account for this tutorial i'm going to select the mindpedia i'm going to read if you want you can read through them what are the permissions you are giving it and then select done once it is done your account will get added now while recording the video i made a mistake here what you have to do is that once you have this option you need to click the you need to select this uh, i'm not selecting it and that's the reason later on i have to do it again because i record my audio after i record the video i do not have any high cost setup so it's a very easiest way to do it now if you want to add your instagram account then also you have to go through your facebook your facebook account is linked with the instagram so you can select the mindpedia as you can see i have selected the mindpedia it is tying up my instagram mindpedia with my facebook mindpedia page so do it accordingly according to your requirements and then select done once it is done and you select ok your instagram account will also get added now as i have already told you you have to click over here and once you do it see successfully added now it gets successfully added now if i go back to my account you can see the instagram account was added but the facebook was not added because i forgot to edit that so i'm going to repeat the process again just provide the password continue now all the pages associated with my particular facebook will be shown i am going to select the page and once i select it see successfully added it has come now if i go back now i have the facebook page as well as the instagram page now let me add the twitter so head over here click twitter you can click this follow on to go to their particular page so this is publer's page let me select twitter and uh, okay let me add them let me follow them also it's optional if you want you can follow them it's up to you so you have to authorize the app please read through the 
conditions what are the permissions you're giving uh, once you do it it will also get added all i have to do is that i have to click over here and my twitter account also got added with the bubbler now i have three accounts already added now like uh, let me write a post and publish it and i'm going to show you how you can publish the post automatically you can also schedule it later on so they also have other social media accounts like pinterest youtube and also they are going to add them one by one it's a new company so just wait for creating the post just click create post and then you have to select the accounts so if you do not select the account then it will not get posted you have to select either you can select all of them or any one of them it depends upon your choice so let me publish this okay let me publish this so i've written an article how to set realistic goal and let me just pub, uh, see it wait oh in twitter you have a count what count limit so since i have selected all the accounts so i have to make sure that the terms and conditions for all the accounts are sorted out so i have to reduce the number of words so i have reduced it now it's everything is okay you can search hashtag from here also they are going to tell whether that hashtag is great good poor or you can manually add the hashtag also so if i set type realistic goals it is not suggesting me anything okay so this is something which you need to pay attention to you can manually add it also as i am going to show you so if i let me search for goals and see what do it suggest so as part them goal is not a great hashtag to add so i cannot do it in this way i have to manually add the hashtag i added ha set realistic goal so now in the media option you can select watermark so you have to create watermark they allow 10 watermark so you just drag and drop your logo in that case any image you upload it will have watermark added on uh, in the free trial watermarking and scheduling new albums are paid feature so you cannot use them on free so this is something we need to pay attention to now i you are going to add text if you want you can upload your media files also so you can select from the google drive dropbox or you can manually upload from your computer so just select it it will take some time for it to upload and the media file will get uploaded now you must remember that whenever you post any url uh, it fetches the thumbnail from your particular url so that is something you need to pay attention to as i as you can see post okay uh, oh yeah see remember uh, I, here i have selected instagram as you have already seen in the case of twitter there is a word count limit and in case of instagram you have to post images but over here as you can see it is not an image it was a, a thumbnail which it fetched from my particular url so i have to manually give him the media because uh, so let me select it yeah now i have manually given the url now my word count is also taken care of i have a media so it can post in both instagram as well as twitter so if you make any mistakes it is going to highlight what mistakes you have made and it is going to suggest you now once i have posted it as you can see let me go and refresh my pages so depending upon your requirement if you post in multiple social medias you have to take that into consideration all the parameters which are the limitations now let me go back to the social media account so let me go back to my facebook page and refresh it and see whether the article was posted or not as you can see yeah it got posted and as you can see it is mentioned by publer so it posted on my facebook page in the twitter let me refresh yeah in the twitter also it got posted and in the instagram let me refresh instagram in instagram also the article was posted so as you can see it is very easy you do not have to manually go to all the social media accounts and post them manually all you can do is that write the post in the publer and then publish from here to all the social media accounts depending upon your requirement you can select single account multiple account all accounts just write anything you want to do and then you can also schedule it as you can see over here they have the scheduling option also 
uh, as I have selected Instagram so I need to have an image so let me just click this image I need to have an image so uh, the, it is going to tell you all the limitations whatever mistake you are making you can schedule it depending upon year a particular year month date and even time wise so you can select the particular time at what time you want to schedule so once you are comfortable just click schedule and it is going to schedule it at that point now you can also check the calendar and see on what day where you have posted so it's friday 9th july as you can see i have posted in these three platforms it's going to show you in the account section you can see what are the accounts already added so over here you can see there are three accounts present later i'm going to add instagram account so then you can see there are four accounts this is the media library where all the media which you have uploaded you can see analytics you cannot see because it is a paid feature so this is how it looks like this calendar feature is something which i particularly like i can easily easily see when i posted what now if you head over to the settings and then go to the billing section you can see in the free version i have five social accounts and i have already added four why it is mentioning four over here because when i pause the video i already added my instagram account also so now i have four accounts which are added that's the reason it is showing four it is also going to show you the remaining elements which you can post how many of them are mentioned over here you can also check their plan and pricing as i have already shown you in the first um, in the free version these are the things which you are going to get in the free version it is more than sufficient for you to try out this particular service and these are the daily limits which are also quite generous so i hope you liked it thank you